Sure. May I ask the finance director some questions, please? Oh, you, you certainly can. Thank you. She just came to give you the Christmas present. She didn't come to answer questions. It sounds like you're catching a cold or something, is it? Yes. Yeah, sorry to hear that. I'm sure he caught it. Uh, <laughs> caught it, yeah. yeah. Um, we have the gasoline diesel adjustments, uh, and there are personnel administration adjustments, right? That need to be made as I recall. No, they should be on your sheet here, hopefully. Okay. Um, the only thing that adjusted in that, those lines were the 620 or 650 that was added back in for the town clerk. So then that yeah. adjusted the Medicare, Social Security, and retirement lines. Oh, you know. But that, it's reflected on your sheet. Okay. The, um, Go ahead, Tim. When will you be uh, ready for the gas adjustments? Well, we have before Christmas. Yeah, that's why I'm asking because. We have a, a schedule for, I believe, the 9th for the final review, Mr. Chairman, but uh, we have snow days for 2nd and 4, and I think we may be more adjustments coming, so maybe we should use the 2nd or 4, probably the 2nd, in case it does snow on the 2nd, we can then use the 4th, uh, to make these uh, adjustments with the gasoline. So, the, so the Chris, uh, Christy knows that maybe we're going to be doing it on the 2nd, so she knows the date where we're going to be working with. Um, also, uh, if I could ask the manager if he's anticipating more money worn articles. Yes. From the board? Yes. From the board? Right. And, and when would those be, uh, would you expect those to be ready? Uh, there'll be petition articles as far as I know. There's at least one coming in. Oh, citizen petitions? Yeah. Okay. Do, are there any more board assemblies that we know of? There may be. I, just may don't, be. I don't know at this point. But the board doesn't meet again until January 8th, correct? That's correct. Right, yeah. so we won't see those until the 9th anyway. So we could be burdened on the 9th, so we ought to clear up as everything we can before the 9th because there may be a whole bunch of stuff coming at us on the 9th that we can't anticipate. So that's why I'm saying we ought to do everything we can on the 2nd so that we can be as clean as possible on our 9th. How many more um, war articles do we have coming, Fred, do you think? I know of at least one. I know the one, too, the grist mill thing that yeah. you talked about last so night. There, there are some rumors that there are others out there, so I just can't okay. tell you until I see them. Okay. Um, okay, thank you. Tim, uh, hold on just for a minute. I want to, I've almost forgot, and since everybody's right here and we're talking about this budget. No, that's all I got. Yeah. Um, today, Donna Bennett sent a, she sent it on the 18th. Okay. <laughs> What's today? 19. She sent out a, an email to um, Christy Fred, uh, the chairman of the um, Board of Selectmen, and also to me. This is in response to Sonny's question. Since Jane asked and was approved to get the raise of 3% back into her budget, I would like to request in writing that I am allowed to do the same. I am formally requesting that the raise for the tax collector go back to the original 3% as requested and approved by the town manager. Um, she sent me then another another email, and it's, um, I'm asking that the original 3% be put back into my budget. This would raise my budget by $577, and the bottom line would be whatever. But this would add $577 to that the budget that we just, hold on, that we just Past. Now, Plus I it told would add Social Security, Medicare. It's going to change and those numbers again as well. Okay, good point. Now, I told Donna that I would bring this, uh, read this first of all, and bring it to the attention of this committee. What would be the wishes of this committee? And Tim, and Mr. Chairman, this is like one of the things that we deal with. I think on the second, you know, to get our plate as clean as possible for the ninth. We can deal with that. We have to deal with the definition of full time, which has implications on the town clerk budget and warrant article. All right, and that has to be dealt with, as you know. <coughs> um, and there is potentially other things that are coming at us as well. We have to review what Christie's got here. There may be adjustments off of this as well. All right. Um, so I think we really ought to meet on the second, and if it snows, meet on the fourth, so that we are as up to date as possible before the ninth, because we don't know what's coming on the ninth. It could be a whole bunch of work. And yeah, okay, and thank you, Tim. That's, that's a, uh, I'll take that under <laughs> for the moment. Just, the just for the, just for the <laughs> under the table, yeah. Uh, but, but, the, 
should we deal with this now? Do, does anybody no. want to discuss this now? Um, and the only reason I'm saying this is because the numbers are going to have to be it. We can make this adjustment of if this committee wished to um, put the put it back to 3%, $577. But we wouldn't know the final number because then Christie has to rework the, the FICA and all that stuff. There's no hurry to do I it. I see no, no hands going up, so... Yeah. Um, well, so I think it's only fair. It may be. Let's do it on January 2nd. Well, what's the difference for the Actually, there's no difference at all. There's so let's no do it difference. on January 2nd. If I, I, do I have a motion I would make a motion to make the tax collector the 3%, the same as the town clerk, because we raised it to 3% for the town clerk. I feel it's only fair to do it to the tax collector. Is there a second? A second. Okay. Motion by Ginny. A second by Steve Henderson to put $577 back into the tax collector's uh, make it her make a three percent raise instead of a two that the, re the board of selectmen reduced it to, and any any further discussion on this? Yes. Okay, go ahead, Tim. The argument is to treat the tax collector the same as the town clerk. Yes. Then let us consider that by all indications the town clerk came in and misrepresented the union requirements, telling us that the union required her to work or her people to work, 35 hours. Now, no, every every indication is that, that she misled us on that, or misinformed us, or misrepresented it. I don't want to use the L word here, but it might apply. It might apply. Fine. In any case, the, ta the, the tax collector has not done such a thing. So then she deserves a three percent in the Well I'm saying they say that you know she deserves the same as the town clerk. I think that's a bogus argument based on recent uh, transformations that have occurred here. Okay, is that all Tim? Um, I think that we, we, we haven't finally decided what we're gonna do about that situation and so I think we could best decide on the town well I mean the tax collector after we decide on no, how we we're gonna can... deal with we have the a, we misinformation have a, that we have been operating under in past votes. Okay, that we, this is this is we have a motion. This I know, and, I'm, and we're having a discussion, and, and I'm discussing. Okay, are you thank finished? you for reviewing that. Okay, you finished discussing. So uh, while I am not opposed to the lousy five hundred dollars to make it three percent <laughs> and make everyone seem like they're getting fair treatment when they're not, <laughs> I still think we really ought to do this uh, vote on January second after we deal with the proper definition of full-time under the union contract. That's all contingent upon if we have a meeting. On we're going to have one on the 9th, which is when we're going to deal with it. But we will there deal with this question inevitably. Thank you, Tim. So if you want to, if you want to jam up the 9th, Mr. Chairman, that's your prerogative. It is. But all right, okay. don't don't You're expect don't right. expect that uh, that there'll be silence on that topic. Okay. Good. Never expect I wouldn't silence. expect that. Not on that topic because I don't think this budget committee or any committee any should be tolerant of, right. of, of of having all facts right, misrepresented have... upon which we're making decisions. Thank you. All, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of doing this, raise your hand, please. Okay. Doing what? Of, <laughs> if the motion is to add, add back $577 to the, tax to, to the tax collector's thing. So should we get in a 3% raise? Okay. Okay, so we have Ginny, we have Sonny, we have Danielle, we have Maureen, we have Steve LeBranch, Steve Henderson, and those opposed, we have David, and, uh, and, and 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 Regina's abstaining. Um, Tim, are you going to abstain or That's correct? And Tim is okay. So we have two abstentions. I'm um, with Regina. Okay, two abstentions. Wow. That's <laughs> and one. <laughs> and David, you were a no. I know. Okay. And David was a no. Okay. <laughs> so, so Christy, you're going to have to adjust the bottom line again. So. But, but just for Max's information, we approved a bottom line tonight. It's just going to get adjusted a little bit. Yeah, it's a meaningless bottom line, Max. <laughs> it's not meaningless. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I have a question. Why is there such a big discrepancy between the deputy town clerk and the deputy tax collector? Could you find out, Regina or Fred? They're both in the Teamster contract. They're, and they're both on step five. And there's a big difference between their pays. 
They need better negotiators. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's, they're both union positions. They've both been in the union forever. The deputy tax collector was a part-time position for a long, long time, That's right? correct. Is that why? And, and I'm wondering if that maybe attributes Could to it, be, possibly. But the union negotiated where they are. Yeah. They yeah. both are in the union. Okay. I can so confirm that the for deputy, you. The deputy tax collector was part-time. The tax collector came in and asked to make the deputy tax collector full-time to make her job easier, yeah. and then the tax collector came in last year, and now having made her job easier, she asked for a raise and we gave it to her, and now this year she asked for another raise and we gave it to her, and then she asked for an additional raise on top of that, and we just gave it to her. So that's the history on that. Okay, thank you very much, Tim, for the history lesson. All right, um, anything well, can else? Can I ask one more question? If you would, please. Uh, last week it was asked that I give all of the elected officials wages and, yeah, uh, the committee wishing for me to calculate well, further actually, on that spreadsheet or no? Actually, it's, I'm glad you asked because I was going to bring that up under old business. Okay, but, that's fine. I will sit no, and no, listen. No, no, but we can talk about it right now if anybody would I like to. I just need to know to. if I need to do anything, that's all. Okay, because you did send out a revision of the spreadsheet, correct? Um, I, Tim sent some corrections that he found right. on my spreadsheet. Right, and because I... I asked you to like resend it, but I accidentally sent you the uh, agenda instead. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake. It was just That's a matter funny. of <laughs> the wrong, the wrong attachment. That happens okay. to all of us, Steve. It does, you know. <laughs> so, in any case, is there any discussion about that since? Um, since Christy asked and brought it up. Well, I, I think that's great that she's going to send a wider distribution on the corrected spreadsheet. Yes. And when she does, all the members will be equally informed, and we can better decide okay. on January 2nd when we meet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very Sounds much. And you know what? Thank you very much, Fred and Christy. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's to both of you. And I think we're finished with you, yeah. so... Christy, Merry Christmas. It's Thank best you. to... It might be best to split while you can. Well, I have a comment. I have a comment to make before Christy, before Christy leaves. You know, I, I, was, I was given... Run, Christy, run. I was given a great opportunity to kind of go around the protocol and work directly with Christy last week. And I spent some time with Christy on the phone. We cleared up, I don't know, maybe a dozen issues in one phone call. <laughs> well, many of these issues I've been trying to get through the protocol for years. How long was the phone call? Oh, slightly less than two hours. Hmm. Well, I, I want to know when you got the cold. He, he went into my lunch hour. <laughs> two hours? There you go. <laughs> you know, well, I, I called her. She said she wanted to deal with them all right now, and we went through them just bang, bang, bang. Didn't we, Christy? And she was very professional, and it was sure? an absolutely pleasant experience. There was no contention. There was no defensiveness on either side. It was just beautiful. Well, you said it it's the way it's a we both. haven't heard from her. Right. It's the way it's, no, the problem is when you raise okay, the okay. problem is when you raise these questions Everybody can't be on camera, people tend to think you're attacking them, they become defensive, contentions raised on and I'm just pointing out that that protocol actually engenders the very contention we all pretend to want to avoid. Okay. All right, thank you. I, I just want to mention something on that. Thank you and again. I'm asking Christy. I'm asking Christy and the town manager. Because I said I allowed him to do that. And I want to make sure of one thing, that it was okay with both of you. Because he hasn't got the bill yet, so I don't know. Okay, because I just want to make sure that everybody here understands. have an expense account to pay it with. Okay. <laughs> I, I want everybody here to understand something. And there, there is a, a little bit of a protocol. And that is that every person on this commission is not simply allowed to. You can, and anybody can ask a question. But... The idea of the protocol was that people that are working, for instance, down at the DPW and stuff like that, uh, they have jobs and they can't stop <coughs> and answer questions individually for 11 different members. And that was the reason that it would go through flow in a certain way. And that's all. I just want to say thank you very much for allowing that. It did answer some questions. I we're probably going to talk about it during the other business because you're supposed to report back to us. I'm happy to give the report whenever you have time, Mr. Chairman. All, we'll and you probably will business. have time if you have a January 2nd meeting. And so, thank you both. And you best you. Yes. <laughs> yes, you're, And on that, you best leave. <laughs> okay. okay. So <laughs> next, we're not, Mr. Chairman. That way, you can all leave. Happy Merry Christmas, Merry Fred. Christmas. Okay, I would point out, you. Mr. Chairman, that I was not making a statement against protocol, but rather the protocol that has been in place. No, no, is is, uh, is not uh, addressing the thing we intended to address. It actually promotes contention. Oh, yeah, I agree. Uh, and, and it needs to be refined in a way. 
you know, it was a week meeting ago, no. two meetings ago, when I asked in the meeting whether you were okay with Matt, Christy's okay with that, Fred was okay, and so I was able to skip over the protocol, and it was a great experience. Well, you see what happens. Comparatively. You see what happens when it's sort of like uh, a little bit of honey versus vinegar. I'm not, and that's all. Hey, I'm all that. sweet. You're as sweet as pie. 